What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day. Today, we're going to talk about my five top favorite ways to make money in Farming Simulator 19. Now, this list has changed a little bit from FS17, but hang in there with me. These are my five top favorite ways to make money. First things first, sell the equipment that you are not using. Now, both maps give you plenty of equipment to get by. For example, here in Felsburn, we get two of the Fent favorite 511s with one of these Fiat's over here. Now, I gotta tell you, this Fiat is awful. And I'm gonna sell it immediately because there's no, no, get out of here. There's no reason to keep this. We're never gonna use it. It's so slow. I know you'd be like, oh, you could use it for carting. Eh -eh. No, we're not. We're not going to use this for carting. We are going to sell it. And when you sell things, I always recommend that you sell them at the store. Never, ever, ever sell them. Otherwise, because you can always make a little bit more money selling them down here. Boom, boom, boom. Vehicle's been sold. 100. Well, we got 53 grand. We got about 50% of the amount of money that we had there. There you go. So now we've got two tractors instead of one and in this map we've actually bumped that up because what we have instead of having one tractor that's got you know crap horsepower we now have two that are pretty decent pretty decent horsepower plus they get 32 miles per hour it's awesome yes and if you want to you can sell one of these for example, if we sold another one of these and we just kept, oh boy, yep, that's that's a bad thing. Bad things are happening. <laughs> if we sold this tractor right here, so we would only have one tractor, granted, we could still get everything done. It wouldn't happen as quickly, but what would happen if we sold another tractor? How much money would we get? We're going to be getting around $68,000. Now, we have more than doubled the amount of money that we have, and we've got all this. Nice, nice. Now, there's another thing. Some people will only use one harvester. So, for example, we have our one harvester here, the New Holland TX32. In here, let's check it out. So, if we want this, we could lease this for $5,100. Now, we use it for more than an hour that's gonna go up that's gonna go up twenty one hundred dollars if we use it for more than a day that's another thousand dollars so it does get more and more expensive but we could get around a hundred grand just from selling these directly and so think about that if we sold these for a hundred grand that's money we wouldn't have to be spending on repairs and everything like that and we could get it the five was that 20 times over we could lease it so that's not bad and in that 20 times we don't have this sitting around we don't have it wasting time and we only harvest when we need that is why people get rid of their harvesters whenever they get in the game so to recap on number five selling equipment you're not using again both maps give you plenty of stuff to use plenty and you can get by with two or only one tractor on a farm you really realistically could and if you sell your harvester you can get even more money it's a great way to make money my next favorite way to make money number four flipping land now you buy it harvest it sell it i take out a loan if you need more money to buy it so what we've got here is we've got field 28 it is ready to be harvested and it is sunflowers so what we're going to do is we're going to go in check the price value 107 dollars and well 170 thousand four hundred and ninety six thousand dollars now that's what it is beforehand so we want to go ahead and buy that because we do have the amount of money to pay for it so turn this on and then we want to harvest all of this now what we're going to be able to do here because this is sunflowers we can harvest at nine miles an hour 
we can get this done even faster. So what we'll get here is we'll get the crop that was here, plus we'll get to sell it back. Hopefully, eh, getting free crop. And in getting free crop, we can sell that crop. And once you have finished that, spit all that out. There we go. Turn that off. And then we're going to go back in. Boom. Boom. Select it. Value 107,496. Exactly what we paid for the land. And we can sell it. Now, we have not only basically bought the land, taken what was on it, and then sold it. But now we also have 4,400 liters of sunflowers. Boom. Perfect. That's awesome. Now, keep in mind that if you don't have enough money, you can take out a loan. However, you may get a little bit of loan interest. It won't be much, especially for the amount of crop that you'll get. Uh, this is especially great with larger fields. When you see it, and uh, best way to do it, go take a look at contracts. And so you'll take a look at contracts and you see if one of them is harvesting, maybe just go buy that field. And then harvest it sell the field back boom you've done the contract if you're gonna do the work anyway you might as well reap the rewards there you go that's number four flip the land my third favorite way to make money in farming simulator 19 is actually not a way to make money it's a way to spend money <laughs> but it's a better way to spend your money a, a, a more thought out process now this is leasing equipment when it will pay for itself. So let's say I've got a job and maybe I've got a smaller harvester, but it's a huge field. And I know that if I do that with the bison right here, it's gonna take me hours. But if I use an ideal or a new Holland, maybe it'll only take me 30 minutes possibly to do the exact same field well your initial lease costs on these are going to be about 20,000 for these larger units well that's a quarter of the price of the bison right here and let's say you're in a flipping mood and you're going to flip that field and you're just going to take the crop from the field are you going to make more money by leasing rather than just sitting around and just waiting for that worker to go back and forth keep that in mind also look out for hourly and daily costs as well you have a base price but you also have a per operating hour cost and a per day cost that you have to keep in mind so make sure that you are not using these longer than you have to it'll get you it really really will uh, a couple things that I really like to lease are semi-trucks, trailers, and really harvesters of any kind. The reason for that is I can get a warrior here, and I can lease this for $6,000, and then I can get, in trailers, I can go over and get, let's say, the Wilson Pace Setter. I don't know, 4000 that's 10000 Well. If I can sell 60,000 liters of something versus using a tractor with a 20,000 liter tipper, I'm going to make more money and I'm going to justify the cost of going, you know, one time versus going three times. Keep that in mind. You're going to lose a little bit every time you go and sell something. A couple other things I enjoy leasing subsoilers and plows are big. The price is not that much, but eh. you know, when you're even at 13,000, if you don't have a lot of money, you know, 5% of 13,000 rolling around six, 660 bucks, that's a little more appealing than 13 grand. Keep that in mind. Your lease cost is going to be about 5,000 of the new cost. Now, like I said, harvesters of any kind, all of these are so expensive, 350,000. 300 or 500,000 right here over here scorpion king 440,000 what is your time worth how often are you going to use this equipment well at 22,000 
dollar lease cost make you more money than using a chainsaw that costs you a thousand dollars in that one hour that's something to keep in mind so leasing versus buying if it is going to be for you know if you find yourself saying like oh i don't have this i need this now lease it just lease it because over time you will pay less money if you are keeping it for a smaller amount of time that's my number three lease the equipment when you know it's going to pay for itself my number two favorite way to make money in farming simulator 19 is to sell everything in the silo now this is only going to work in new farmer unfortunately this will not work if you guys are using either farm manager or start from scratch but when you come into new farmer you have wheat and barley and oat and canola and sunflowers and soybeans and corn oh my <laughs> So what you can do is if you want to sell them all at one time, go for it. Or you can meticulously find when the best price is for what. So for me, I would look at this and I would find what are my most expensive crops and how much of them do I have. And I'm looking at this here, seeing that some of my most expensive crops are going to be canola, sunflowers, and soybeans. So I want to find what I've got the most of and try and get that sold first. Now, prices I'm looking at here, I'm seeing $1,600 at Port Southeast for soybeans. And I'm also seeing a pretty decent price there, but not crazy for the other two crops. So it's just find what works, grab it, and go. Now, what I've got here is I've got kind of a back and forth about what's what. So we're going to get canola and we're going to get sunflowers and we're going to go to port northwest and here we are let's go ahead and dump these we can do both at the same time yes we can and we can make an immaculate amount of money doing both and keep in mind you've got what six seven crops you can do twenty nine thousand dollars for that harvest right there that's great <laughs> and that was free money uh, I believe there's around a hundred thousand dollars worth of crops in the silo all you have to do is get them and sell them I do recommend doing one or two at a time if you can afford to get another trailer and you've got the skill to back up some of those articulated trailers and uh, the ones with the funky front wheels I recommend doing that because you're gonna make the money much faster much quicker if you can get even three that's even better the less trips, the better. For me, my time is worth something. And a lot of people would look at it and say, I don't care how long it takes. I will do it until it's done. And that's totally cool. I'm going about the exact same approach on a Farming Simulator 17 map that I'm playing in my personal time. So it just depends. How do you want to play the game? I prefer to do it as fast as possible. And so again, what is your time worth? There you go. That is number two, sell everything in the silo. But again, it only works in New Farmer. Now, number one may not come as a surprise to those of you who know the channel, know me, and know that I love money. And as much money as I could possibly get, I'll take it. And last but not least, my favorite way to get money now this is not make money this is get money in farming simulator 19 of course is to cheat it in duh everybody likes money i love money how do you do it well it's pretty simple uh for this entire video i've been on the playstation 4 it's also works on xbox and it works on pc as well fun enough so we're gonna cheat money <laughs> we are in farm manager today so what i'm gonna do is we're gonna create a farm and I'm gonna join it. And then another one, and then another one, and another one, and another one, and another one, and another one. Yeah. <laughs> so here's the difference. Now everybody knows a new farmer, you start with $100,000 and you have no loan. In Farm Manager, you start with 1.25 million. You have a $250,000 loan, bringing that to $1 million total. 
because if I wanted to, I could easily pay back this loan. And it's start from scratch. You get $500,000. However, that entire thing is a loan. $500,000 loan. Ooh, nasty. So how are we going to do this? Well, I'm in multiplayer. I have just created a bunch of farms and I've joined the first one. I don't think you have to join the first one, but I do anyway, just to be safe. And then what I'm going to do simply is save the game. And then I'm going to exit and jump in single player. So we're going to jump up, go to career, bump over to my last game save. That is this one right here. This is going to load up. I'll show you what you do once you load into the game. Here we are. Start. Bam. Ten million dollars. How did that happen? Well, what had happened was, what had happened was, it took all of the money that we had in all of the farms and put it into one farm. Now, we still have a two million dollar loan. It's funny, you hit repay, bam, immediately brings it down to 500,000. So, you just repay that and you will end with eight million dollars. Now, if I wanted to go back and do this again, that is very simple, and I don't have to pay back this loan. It's going to keep accumulating that loan, but nothing to worry about there. Boom, $8 million. Again, you don't have to do that part. So now, if we just want that $8 million, we can take that, run around, do what we want. It's also an easy way to cheat in another $1 million. Every time you do it, you get another $1 million per farm I might add so if you wanted to start and pretend like you got gold nuggets add one extra farm BAM now you got two million dollars <laughs> so if we want to repeat the process all you have to do is hit save game and then exit and go back and repeat those two processes those two steps very easy way now this is a cheat my understanding is Giants left this mod or this mode kind of thing in the game because there was no other way to make money. So it does take a little bit of time. It does feel a little grindy, just like farm, like when I say farming simulator, no, just like Grand Theft Auto. Grinding money in that was awful. But nonetheless, that's my number one favorite way to make money is to cheat the money. But that is going to be it for today. I hope this has helped one of you guys. Also, let me know down below, what is your favorite money-making method in Farming Simulator 19? Do you use one of these five methods that I've mentioned today? Or do you have your own way that you make money? There may be more. Let me know down in the comment section below. With that being said, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. If you have not already, make sure you subscribe to catch more videos like this every day. I hope you guys have a great one, and we will see you later. Peace!